Hey guys, what's going on? It's Osas from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your phone so that you can get text to speech to tell you who's calling you or texting you. Um, the app that we're going to be discussing is called Caller Name Talker. Now, as you can see, there's a couple of them in the Play Store, but we're going to do the first one. It's by Passion, Passionate Androidin. Um, so we're going to just tap on that, install it. It's the highest rated app, so it's, we're obviously just doing the best one. <clears throat> um, so you're just going to open it up, and then first thing we're going to do is obviously you're going to want to enable it. So you just slide that on. You can see that it is ad supported, but it's free, so uh, you can't really complain. In the general settings, you can um, turn it on so that the alert will still come on even if your phone is on silent. It'll also work if you have a ringtone, it'll come in with the ringtone, so it'll ring like it normally would, and then it'll also say who is calling you. But you can also turn off the ringtone, and then this will just act as your, your ringtone, which is probably the most efficient way to do it. Um, you can turn on alert names and contacts, so if you don't have um, a contact name for the person, it'll just list out the number and say calling from 555, whatever. So that's another option you can have. You can lower the ring volume, adjust the settings, um, and then play alert only if headset is in. So those are just the default um, <clears throat> general settings. If you go back, here's where you can adjust the call alert settings. So here, obviously you want this enabled. There is an initial time delay. It's five seconds by default. I've changed mine to two because I thought five was a little too long. Alert repeat, flip, to stop so you just do this and um, the alert will stop or you can hang up or whatever <clears throat> um, then there's a message that could be played um, before the caller name so if you want to change it by default it just says the name and then same thing with a message after um, and then lastly is the SM SMS alerts so the text message alerts you want that enabled or you can disable it if you don't want it to um, alert you when somebody's texting you. You can have again the time delay and then the read SMS content. So that means it'll read who it's from and then it'll actually read the content in the text. Now obviously you might not want that so I've left mine disabled because sometimes people send you text that you probably wouldn't want other people to hear. And then you can see there are more settings. And then lastly, lastly, is uh, the voice settings. And here you can just set the language. As you can see there's a pop-up ad. You can set the language from this list <clears throat> right here. I always choose UK English because I think it sounds better. You can also change the speed and the pitch. I leave those as normal. And then you can test. So you can change the, the phrase if you want, but just John Doe is the default phrase. You just hit te test voice. John Doe. And there you go. So that's what it will sound like when it's reading um, your messages. John Doe. So... I will send myself a text John message. Day. Yes, we get it. I'll send myself a text message just to show you guys kind of how the alert system works. Um, so I'm on my other phone. I'm sending it to this phone. And it should come up and then it'll just say my name. And that's it. So now if it's in your pocket or you're just not looking at it or it's over there somewhere in the corner of your room you don't SMS have to from Osas, one. so there it is SMS from Osas, and then obviously if you touch the volume <clears throat> the alert will stop or you could do the flip which I haven't enabled the same thing works for calls so I'll just show you guys that um, if you call which I'll do right now <clears throat> it'll alert you with the name. So it'll just say incoming message, it'll have whatever the contact. As you can see. And then it'll repeat it again. And then you can choose whether or not to accept or... Yep. And then I'll just choose to reject, of course. So there you have it. It's a pretty convenient, it's actually pretty cool, it's easy setup, it's free again, so... I'm always a fan for free apps that are actually pretty useful. So again, it's called <clears throat> Caller Talker 
and it's um, free in the Play Store. So just remember to check that out. Also remember to check out the full tutorial on um, Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Modder for more details and um, screenshots. And uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching this video, guys.